The Territory Wizard provides a step-by-step -step guide from data input all the way through to territory creation. Maptitude can handle all of your territory design needs, including creating territories from scratch, creating overlapping territories, or creating territories based on tables, point locations, or existing map boundaries. To get started creating territories, choose File, New Workspace, or click the New Workspace button to open the Home window. Choose the Territory option here and click OK to launch the Territory Wizard. There are several ways that you can create your territory layers, which I will cover one by one in this tutorial. The first option creates an empty territory layer that you can use to create your territories from areas on a map. I'm going to click Next, and now choose an area layer, such as postal codes, counties, or states, to use to create the territories. I'm going to create territories from the state layer, and click Next again. And lastly, choose the fields that you want to track for your territories. For example, I'm going to click this button and choose Add Geography Layer Fields so I can choose some fields in the state layer to track. I'm going to track the population in my territories, so I'll choose Population and click OK. And finally, I also want to build territories that contain about 45 million people, so I'm going to enter a balancing value of 45 million. When I click Finish, Maptitude opens a map with an empty territory layer and opens the Territory Manager, which I can use to now interactively create territories. For example, I can click this button and click on a state to include it in my first territory. If I click the Changes tab in the Territory Manager, you can see what the population of my territory is and how far off from my 45 million target it is. If I click on some more states, you can see the population changes adjust upward. Now my territory has a population just a little over my target, so I'll click this button to save the territory. To start creating the next territory, choose New Territory from the Territory drop-down list, and again select some states to include in the new territory. And now that the population is near my target, I'll again save the changes. For more information on using the Territory Manager, please see the separate video on working with the Territory Manager. The next method for creating territories is from a territory table. For example, I have an Excel worksheet that contains a list of zip codes, the sales rep assigned to each zip code, and the number of customers in each zip code. Again, I'll create a new workspace, choose the Territory option, and click OK. When I choose to create the territories from my territory table, Maptitude prompts me for the file to use, so I'll choose the Excel file, click Open, and choose the sheet in the Excel file that contains the data. The next step is to choose the map layer to use to build the territories. Since my table contains zip codes, I will choose five-digit zip code as the geography layer to use. The zip code layer has a field called zip that contains the zip codes, and you can see some examples of those values here. In my Excel file, the territories are defined by the representative field, so I'll choose Representative here, and choose the field that contains the zip code values that match those in the Geography field above, which in this case is the zip field that is already chosen. Now I'll click Next, where I can again choose some fields to track in my territories. This time I want to track population and income information from the zip codes, so I'll choose Add Geography Layer Fields, choose the Buying Power and Population fields, and click OK. And I want to track the number of customers in each territory, so I'll choose Import Territory Table Fields, choose Customers, and click OK. When I click Finish, Maptitude creates a territory layer based on the table and displays the territories on the map. In the Territory Manager, you can see the data that I chose to track for the territories. Here's the total disposable income of people living in each territory, the population living in each territory, and the number of customers in each territory. I could now use the tools in the Territory Manager to modify and balance the territories. For more information, please see the separate video on working with the Territory Manager. Finally, you can create territory layers from a point layer or an area layer in a map. This time I'm going to open a workspace that contains a map with my customers already located on it. The Customer layer includes a field with the name of the territory that each customer is in. I can illustrate this by creating a color theme on the Customer layer and using the Territory field. 
Because I already have an open workspace and want to add the territories to this map, I will start the territory wizard by choosing Map, New Territory Layer. If my map contained an area layer of territories, perhaps imported from another GIS format or created with an earlier version of Maptitude, I could use this third option to create a territory layer from the existing area layer. Instead, I'm going to use this fourth option to create the territory layer from the existing point layer. Choose my customer layer and click Next. I want to base the territories on zip code boundaries, so these map settings at the top are correct. And as we saw when I created the color theme, the territory field is the one that identifies my territories, so this is correct. Again, I can choose fields to track. When I click Finish, MapDid creates a territory layer based on the customer points and displays the territories on the map. And that wraps up this video on creating territory layers with a territory wizard. Please see the separate video on working with the Territory Manager to learn how to modify the territory layers that you create.